Uh, so in this video or in this series of videos, we're going to be looking at spending money. Uh, that is like going to the shop and buying a, a new pair of pants or an iPhone or something. Uh, or we might also look at owning a shop and, and figuring out how much you should charge for these things. Uh, in this particular video though, we're going to be looking at something called calculating the discount. You guys will be pretty familiar with this. You might go into a shop and it might have signs that say like 30% uh, off store wide. Uh, which means that everything in the store is going to be 30% cheaper than it used to be. Uh, so we're going to look at some of that stuff uh, in this video. Uh, we're going to jump straight into it so you can see how this works. Okay, so you've walked into your store, General Pants or something, and you've seen a pair of jeans that are normally $70, except the store is having this, this sale. It says 30% off store wide. So we want to know how much are these jeans really going to be if there's a 30% sale. Now some of you can probably do this in your head depending on how you feel about maths. Uh, but I'm going to show you the formal way to do it and it's important that you've got this formula handy. So our formula is going to be uh, discount is equal to our original price. times percentage discount. Okay, and when we talk about discount, we might even put a dollar sign there. So what we're saying is the dollar discount, so the discount in dollar terms is equal to the original price times the percentage discount. So when we start putting in our stuff here, we can see that the original price of these pants is $70. Now, we can see that the discount is 30%. Now, we've done this quite uh, quite a few times throughout the year. When we talk about this percentage, though, we're going to have to express it as a decimal. So remember, 30% as a decimal is the same as, whoop, whoop, it's the same as 0 0.30. So when we multiply by our percentage, we use the percentage as a decimal, not as a percentage. So it's going to be times 0.30. Three, zero. Uh, now when you do that you're going to get uh, $21. Uh, you can do it on your calculator obviously, don't try to do it in your head. Stop, think a little bit. Uh, now you're not going to pay $21 for this pair of pants. $21 is the amount of discount. So we can use a second formula here and that is the sale price that is the amount that you'll actually pay for the pants, is equal to the original price minus the dollar discount. Okay, so the original price in this case was $70. The dollar discount was equal to $21. And you can type that into your calculator and you'll get $49. So that means this pair of pants is going to have a discount of $21. So if the original price was $70, that means that you'll only pay $49 for the pair of, paint, uh, pair of pants. Bargain, go and buy them, take them to the disco, etc. Uh, this is pretty much it when it comes to calculating discounts. So a couple of key points to take away. We're calculating discounts here. Here is one of the formulas. The dollar discount is equal to the original price times the percentage discount, and also this formula. The sale price is equal to the original price minus the dollar discount. If you can use those two formulas and probably think a little bit about what they mean, uh, this stuff's going to be really straightforward. We've got a couple more videos to go on calculating discounts. Uh, we're going to do some reverse stuff as well. Uh, we're going to do some stuff about calculating what the percentage discount is if you're, if you're told a certain dollar value. Uh, but that's it for now. Try some of these questions and see how you go.